lab gearing states that common normal to the tooth profile at the point of contact should always pass through a fixed point called pitch point in order to obtain a constant velocity ratio. To prove this, I will take two gear wheels with one pair of gear teeth. O1 is the center of the first gear wheel. This is the driving member. O2 this is the center of the second gear wheel. This is the driven member. One pair of gear teeth as shown here. Q is the point of contact. TT is the tangent drawn to the pair of gear teeth at point Q. Then normal for the tangent is as shown here. Assume that first gear wheel is rotating in the clockwise direction. This is the direction of rotation. Then automatically the, dry, the driven member will rotate in the counterclockwise direction as shown here. The line joining two centers of the gear wheels are like this. This is the pitch point P. Now draw a line joining O1 to Q and O2 to Q. Next draw a perpendicular from point O1 to common normal then this point you call as M. The angle made by O1M with respect to O1Q is alpha. This is alpha. Next draw a normal from center of the second gear wheel O2 to this common normal. This point you call as N. The angle made by O2N with respect to O2Q is beta. Then when gear wheel 1 is considered this point Q moves in a direction perpendicular to O1Q, QC. The velocity along QC is V1. The angle made by QC with respect to common normal MN is alpha because the angle made by O1M is alpha as this O1M and O1Q are mutually perpendicular to this QC and MN. Hence the angle made by these two lines is equal to angle made by these two lines. The gear wheel 2, the point Q moves in a direction perpendicular to O to Q. The direction I am calling as along QD. This QD is perpendicular to QO2 and velocity is V2. The velocity, the linear velocity of this gear wheel 2, I am assuming as V2. Then this angle is beta. Here this angle is beta, then automatically this angle will become beta. So, in order to obtain the constant velocity, the components of this V1 and V2 along the common normal must be same. So that velocity I am assuming as V. That means the component of V1 along common normal must be equal to V. The component of velocity V2 along the com common normal must be equal to V. That means this is the condition. V equal to V1 cos alpha that is equal to V2 cos beta. Now, V1 equal to, here angular velocities are known to you. The relation between angular velocity and linear velocity is V equal to R omega. Here R is nothing but this, O1 and Q. Hence, V1 equal to O1 Q omega 1. Similarly, V2 equal to O2 Q into omega 2. Now, if you substitute V1 value here, and V2 value here, you will get the equation something like this. In this equation, cos alpha and cos beta are unknowns now. To get cos alpha and cos beta, you have to use 
geometry of this figure. Now observe cos alpha equal to O1 m divided by O1 q. That is cos alpha. Cos beta equal to O2 n divided by O2 q. That is cos beta. Now cos alpha and cos beta values are known to you. You substitute these values in this equation. Substitute the values in this equation. Then that will become like this. Here O1Q and O1Q gets cancelled. O2Q and O2Q gets cancelled. Now velocity ratio omega 1 by omega 2 equal to O2N by O1M. Now this O2N by O1M value has to be found. Next. Omega 1 by omega 2 equal to O2N by O1M. To get this value, consider the similar triangles. Similar triangles O1, M, P and O2, N, P. From these similar triangles, if you take the ratio of O2, N by O1, M, that is equal to D2 by D1. So here O2, O2, P, that is nothing but D2 by 2 divided by O1 P that is equal to D1 by 2. So 2 2 gets cancelled and you will get D2 by D1. Now if you substitute this value here in this equation. So D2 by D1 you can write also as Z2 by Z1 because D equal to M into Z. From that relation D2 by D1 equal to Z2 by Z1. If you substitute this value here in this equation. Then that will become omega 1 by omega t equal to z2 by z1. So here number of teeth on the two gear wheels are constant. Hence the velocity ratio is constant.